वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर फ्रेंड्स मैं सर डॉक्टर एम एच चन्नैया एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट ड्राइंग द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द लैटरल सरफेस ऑफ ए ट्रायंगुलर पिरामिड हैविंग साइड मेजरिंग 30 एम एम एंड हाइट दैट इज मेजर फ्रॉम वर्टेक्स टू द सेंटर ऑफ द बेस इज सिक्सटी एम एम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल let us place the object position the object before it is being cut he says it is resting on the hp on its triangular face said so that an edge of the base is is normal to vp so in the top view one of the base edges ab bc or ca should be perpendicular to vp and we will obtain the top and front views of the solid that is given dimension friends i will write here a triangle to the given size this size is 30 mm so i just mark here 30 mm this side could be to the right or to the left in the development it will not make any difference i locate the center of the base by bisecting any two adjacent sides and obtain the top view and i will just label this as a this is b and this is c and obtain the base on x y by projecting lines from here so friends this will be a dash b dash and this point is c dash this is o the vertex so from here i will write the vertical line marking the height as 60 mm so i will just try line here and call this distance as 60 mm the height of the pyramid so this is o1 the center of the base and i am going to join this o dash to a dash b dash and c dash so i will just join this o dash to a dash o dash to b dash and o dash to c dash and these three lines o dash a dash o dash b dash o dash c dash represent the three slant edges in the front view the corresponding top view we have got o a o b and o c so friends you have placed the object on hp and uh, let us see or let us draw the development of this triangular pyramid assuming it is not cut by any section plane and if you go through the previous video you will see that in the development you are going to have three rectangles 1 2 3 three rectangles will be there and each of them will have a base equal to 30 mm so friends here let me write what we call a vertical line let me could be even horizontal doesn't matter so i call this point as o dash or simply o or o dash and uh, let us see what is the true length or which line in the print view gives you the true length so in the projection of lines you have studied whenever a line is parallel to vp like this oc o dash c dash will give you the true length this will give you the true length so i will just mark that length as true length and this true length is obtained from the print this pl and this pl are the same now taking this o dash as center and this true length as the radius i am going to draw an arc so here i am going to strip off three arcs each having length equal to or radius equal to 30 30 30 and say this is 30 i am going to join all these by thin lines to start with the base are having, having straight edges so i will join by straight line straight line by straight line but for the cones it is going to be an arc because it has got a curved periphery now friends let us come to the front view and mark the section plane he said a section plane which is normal to vp means perpendicular it could be horizontal it could be at an angle and is parallel to one of the triangular faces friends in the print view o dash c dash represents one of the stand edges because it has got only two points 
where this h o dash e dash b dash represents a triangular surface so this is a triangular face because it has got three points o dash a dash and b dash and it says the section plane is perpendicular to vp and parallel to one of the triangular faces so this is triangular face i am going to write a line here called the section plane at a distance of 10 mm so there is a perpendicular distance from the last line till here is 10 mm so this line is the section plane i will call it as SS the section plane is SS and that is cutting the solid let us see where are it is cutting and how to get its projections and this is a parallel line. This section plane S is, is parallel to this parallel to the triangular face. So I'll mark it again. So this is a section plane prints, and this section plane is cutting the slant edge O dash C dash and also the base. So there are two places where the section plane is cutting the solid. Now friends, let us retain the larger part. Say we are going to throw away this part, portion above this and retain this part T and we will call that portion retain or we will mark it by dark lines. So friends, let us say we are going to retain this part for which we are going to draw the development, this part T. Now friends, coming to the development part of it, you see here, when this option is thrown out, we are removing this slant edge OA and O dash B dash. That is to say, these two edges should not exist in the development we are going to get finally. And since O dash E dash, O dash B dash are removed, we have to commence the development either from edge OA or from edge OB. Let us say we are starting from edge OA. This is A, this is B, this is C, and this is A again because the first and the last or the first line and the last line should have the same marking. Now, friends. This is the true length and this length is also true length and that true length is obtained here that is our value obtained from the thing. and all these distances are 30 each this is 30 this is 30 this is also 30 all these are having 30 mm and true length is equal to this O dash C dash now friends let us start where the section plane is cutting the section plane sorry the object friends section plane SS is cutting the slant edge OC OC is the true length and whatever the distance you have got here from O dash to this point take this measurement and mark on OC OA will be OC so I'll just mark it here this gap is equal to this gap OC we have marked but it is not cutting any other, but it is cutting the base. To know exactly where the section plane is cutting the base, we have to draw a vertical line from there. Vertical line. It is cutting base, edge AC here, and also the edge BC at this point. So we have got two points on the base. Where are they? We have got one on AC. So on AC, take this measurement and mark it on AC near to A. On AC near to A. Friend, this distance is the distance I have marked there. Similarly, on BC, you will have the same measurement. Take this measurement. Mark on BC near to B. Mark on BC near to C. Friends, this gap and this gap are the same. Friends, now we will number these before we complete it. So, uh, we will call this as 1. 
this has number 2, this point has number 3, we got 3 points only. So I am going to join this point 1 is here. So 1 to 2 it is 1. So we will join 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and then friends on OC the part, this part is retained, we will show it there. And portion from 3 to C is existing, show by dark line, dark line. Friends, if you observe this figure, the portion shown here represents the development of this part P, I will say development of P. And if you want to transfer these points, 2 is here and 1 and 3 are here. On AC, it is 3. On BC, it is point 0.2. On BC, 2. On BC, it should be point 0.2. And this is point 0.3. Friends, this is the development of the larger part. If you take this as the larger part, that will be the development. Suppose they ask the development for this part, the other part, you have to remove this part, only retain this much. This will give you the development of the other part safety guide. Friends, here you have to verify whether the solution you have got is right or wrong. How to verify? Friends, see here in the portion P out of the complete solid, OA and OB are removed. So this line does not exist, OB does not exist, OA does not exist. When this does not exist, the connecting lines like this length and this gap, this gap also they don't exist. But in the actual drawing you make, you will have to show all these lines, retain all these construction lines and show them by very thin lines just visible to you. Friends, I hope the presentation was interesting and if you like this presentation and if you like this video, do share the information with all your friends and have a wonderful day. I thank you very much for watching my YouTube videos.